a 1,000 pound plus horse that will hold up 1,000 pounds. Now, what happened is um, I was digging out a footing for the hotel and the uh, dirt leaned up against the horse. Now, I, I could I could scratch out the dirt next to the horse with the bucket, but I want to show you a different way to work, a different way to dig. I want to show you a way that you can move a thousand or fifteen hundred or ten thousand pounds of dirt without a shovel and without a rake and without any real effort other than um, using a an a blower, and it could be an electric blower, it could be a gasoline-powered blower, um, but a blower will blow the dirt faster than a human being can rake the dirt, and it, it's, it requires only the effort to hold the blower on your back and to pull the trigger on the blower to blow the dirt. Now, I can move well over one ton, that's 2,000 pounds of dirt, with that echo blower in about an hour, if it's going downhill. In other words, if I had a hole and I wanted to fill the hole in after I put the dirt next to the hole, you, get, you stand on top of the pile and put the blower on a 45-degree angle down, and you can blow easily 1,000 to 2,000 pounds per hour to blow the dirt. So I'm going to just show you by zooming in on the shovel. There's not a lot of dirt over there, and this is not going to be a long live stream, but I do want to show you that how easy it is to blow a thousand pounds of dirt in just a few minutes with a, a, a leaf blower. A, a regular leaf blower will work as well. Now, if the dirt is dry, it's a lot easier. This commercial blower is a an echo. Um, it it has a value of about six hundred U.S. dollars. It's about fifteen years old. I've had it. If um, I've had it. Probably some going on 16, 15, 16 years. So if I don't know who you are and you're in the chat, you're welcome to leave messages. But I don't acknowledge people that I don't know who you are. So if you want to ask a question and you want to put Super Chat next to it, I'll answer your question. Other than that, just watch and learn. I don't know why people come on to other people's shows and interrupt them while they're talking, but I, I don't appreciate it. And if you were in college, your college professor would not appreciate you interrupting his speech. Not one bit. So I want to show you how easy it is to blow the dirt with a blower. That's a stupid question, too, by the way. What if it rains? It's a really stupid question. So you're about ready to be shit canned from the channel just for asking stupid questions. So, you can move 1,000 to 1,500 to 2,000 pounds of dirt. Now, that blower will also push a brick across uh, a highway. In other words, if there was a red brick and you had it sitting on top of a, a tarmac or a road, you could actually push a brick with that blower. And um, it, it pushes 680 cubic feet of air per minute, 680 cubic feet of air per minute through the nozzle when it's on full speed ahead. So to, to give you an idea, the brick could be about 18 inches away from the blower nozzle, and that's how much power that particular eight echo blower has. So let's, uh, let's get started with this lesson. It's not going to be a long lesson. It's just, I'm just going to show you how to get that area where the shovels are cleaned out and under, I, I don't know, I don't know, it might take five minutes to get a good clean job over there. So that, they're all blowers. One, some are street blowers, some are leaf blowers. You could use a hairdryer if the dirt was fine sand. 
but you can move a ton of dirt with a proper size an echo 680 blower in an hour so there we go and um now we know not to ask stupid questions amazing that you people think you have the right to go on to somebody's show and ask that is truly amazing truly amazing so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to blow the dirt off of these shovels then i'm just going to blow it down and then of course i'm going to get into the machine and finish my job so we have about five more minutes maybe seven minutes left on this live stream that's my story and i'm sticking to it Daisy, yeah. want to come out here for a minute? <laughs> Just hold, hold the, yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. Huh. I don't know, it's fine. Hold your finger on the trigger like that. Huh. I guess we're not going to blow it. Plug wrench, Daisy. Maybe I had it running for about an hour. Maybe it flooded out. Take the switch right now. 
Okay, we got spot. Now.
Okay, so that's how an Echo 680 blower works. Of course, there was a little problem starting it up because um, the uh, intake, the, the gas from the tank, it blows. There's a pressure line coming from the engine that puts pressure into the gas tank. That line needs to be glued in place because I just rebuilt the carburetor and I didn't have the proper glue and it popped out. That's why there was a little trouble starting the machine. Other than that, it works fine. Ugh. Okay, so that's the end of today's lesson. Thanks for stopping by. And that's how I blew about uh, 500 pounds of dirt and rocks away with the blower in, what, just under 15 minutes. And I did not have... Uh, I did not have a big incline, so on a flat surface, it blew 500 pounds of dirt away. So right now, we're going to go back to using the machine. I just wanted to show people how to use a blower to move dirt rather than a shovel. That's my lesson for today. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Thank you. Cebu City, huh? Cebu City. Too many people after me. Enjoy your trip to Cebu City. As far as the neighbors are concerned, actually, the neighbors uh, don't mind the noise at all. Okay. That's my message for today. How to use a blower to move dirt. And uh, if, if the dirt's a little bit hard or there's rocks in the dirt, you can have an assistant scratch it with the rake. Or you with that blower, you can actually blow two-inch bluestone across the flat surface. But one-inch bluestone or one-inch P-rock, you can use it to level the surface between a rake and the blower, it makes it cuts the job time down to about 20% of what a normal job would be. Bye-bye for now. And this is Michael Fazio and... In the Philippines, baby. I'm being permy, which means, of course, to care always. Real men work on Sunday. They do. Real men don't pay attention to what day it is. <laughs> I didn't even know it was Sunday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now. Have a good day, everybody. Umping.